Hi, hey. It is Adventures in Anthara, session 33. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 kind of bam, 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 a third bam, bam. of the way to 100. Once we get through a third of this session. Is that... We won't know what it is, though. Yeah, 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 math. That's we how math works. Last time. What, what happened last? Oh, Our that's anniversary right. anniversary has occurred. Yes, we did not mention it last time. Technically, I believe when we played, it was the day before our anniversary. Yeah. Uh, so this is the first game we're playing after a year has transpired. Uh, the one year mark of playing this game happened three days ago, I believe. Yep. As of the time of this recording, who knows what, what the hell? It. Yep. Um, that's a lot. That is a lot of things that we have done. Speaking of which, the Twilight Heralds, after making their way south from Sawfeld to Proward, down finally to the capital of Kathos, Ilmara, spent a relatively short amount of time in the capital city uh experiencing the sorry is matt going crazy for anybody else yeah it's yeah. really funny <laughs> what's what's happening I it's don't just know, but it's like desyncing a little bit stuff so like it it'll... looks fine to me no yeah, yeah so like for a second what'll happen is it'll freeze and then the video has to catch up with the audio so you just look like you're going crazy yeah it's really fun okay. uh, word. thanks a lot technology happen. Yeah. Technology hates this campaign, if you haven't learned that from the last few episodes and the opening cards. <laughs> but Amen, uh, God of choice. Yes. Irregardless, um, the party... Did you say irregardless? Yes, I did. It's in the dictionary. Do not sass me. We're never starting this session. The <laughs> high society of not just Ilmara, but the... Um, upper echelon of Ilmara, specifically the Horizon District, uh, on the, the highest bluff of the city, and within the Horizon District, both the Brashivian Conclave, where the Shaded Wind make their uh, headquarters, and they talked with Rylus, the monk that they had previously met, and also the estate of the Rosewood family in Ilmara, uh, where <laughs> Faye, um, Introduced her family to the party, got to catch up with her family herself, and spent some uh, much needed, if somewhat brief, R&R. &R. Uh, exchanged information with a few different people, had some nice dinners, some young adults flirted with some other young adults, um, and Lucy took a bath in a small pond. A um, singular? Yes. They also made some money and also received a potential uh, offer of much more money pending certain tasks that may or may not be completed or even taken on by this group uh, regarding the assassins of political leaders that had happened a little while back. But... After concluding much of their business in Ilmara, the group made their way further south towards the city of Olea. On the way, they encountered some nasties, uh, and Brightwing experienced a nice roller coaster of, of consciousness, but everybody survived, and they made their way through those uh, hills and finally to the city into this magnificent... Uh, academically and arcanically rich is that a word maybe uh city and within it where eclipse has called home met a couple of her uh closest confidants specifically her sister luna and her childhood best friend remy bellwhittle played by halia wait where's halia right there um <laughs> who turned out to be quite the character. She uh, Eclipse went off and talked with her father, gave a debrief on her mission, and he asked her to bring the whole group back at some point later that evening as he would like to get the full story from as many people as possible, given the amount of mystery surrounding a number of things that the party has encountered and Hugo Fournois, Eclipse's dad, has encountered. And where we left off... The Twilight Heralds were hanging out in the tavern. Eclipse had returned to join them. 
That's uh, a restaurant, technically, not a tavern. Uh, and we're discussing who would win a fight between Eclipse and Luna uh, and various other largely unimportant and relaxed nonsense. So that is where we pick up midday in the Golden Wing. What would you all like to do? Or say? Okay, but like it does depend on the event, right? Because so... I mean, yeah, it, sure, if it's a push-up contest, okay, but where's that going to get you in life, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How many people have you thrown out since I left? Can you even lift anybody since I left? Oh, no, I think you both <laughs> need arm wrestling. Bro? <laughs> no, no, no. I uh, See, I'm not even going to... We don't need... I don't work that way. She I handles the brute muscle. You can. I mean, wow. sure. Every once in a while, you're going to get lucky. She looks very intently at your arms that are not as buff as Eclipse's, though not puny by any means. Uh, I'm all up for, uh, you know, if we want to do a triathlon of physical contests, maybe. Or if we just want to do a race, which I will wipe the floor with her. Uh, well, but... the past, in the past year, Eclipse has won six competitions and... Uh, Minus one nine. Nice. You're muted, Megan. Are they all... You're muted, Megan. <laughs> Are they I, I all should, uh... athletic abilities? Have Challenges? What? Athletic? Uh, yeah. Well, we leave the intellect to Remy, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's universal. I was... I think... Several of us would probably be happy to participate just to provide um, a basis of comparison, just to show how much better at these things than the average person the rest of you are. You... I mean, understand, but it's it's a family thing. Sure. Have you ever ever tried to do a task? Who could do a task faster that didn't have to do strength, like setting up a tent or something? up a tent. Have you even set up a tent? Listen! <laughs> they send you out on the missions for a reason. I'm you're asking! The, oh, raining on one. my head. I'm poor Eclipse out on a tent in the wilderness. My job is to be unseen and to do the scene. I don't need a tent for that. What about make a campfire? This is... This seems... <laughs> Seems like a heavily eclipse slanted line of I, questioning. I feel like small most bird girl. I mean, how, they they do me, so. how about scaling a wall? Okay. Wait, actually, that. Build a guard tower that, the other day. Yeah, that, that actually could end up being pretty even. That was very impressive. So I got some practice. We're waiting for it to catch up with me. Matt. <laughs> Yes. It's no, again. It's 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 really okay, hold on. Hold it's on, really, hold on. Let me try this. I it's disable. really jarring to see. It's hard to watch you because I re -enable. you're talking or not. There right. you go. Is you this better? better. Right now. Okay, yeah. tell me if it goes it's, wonky. It's not yeah. it's not a consistent thing. It happens in it'll like slow like, down and then it's like all trying to catch up at once. Yeah. It's like it, the lady yeah. just walked up the stairs in the scary movie and to know that she's supposed to be something you're afraid of, her head moves really fast in random <laughs> <Yeah>. directions. <laughs> <That's just laughs> right. that was um, why that did is... you even say that? That's yeah. kind of actually what happened. It's, it's, that, that's legit oh, what it is. No, mm. no, no. Oh, Wind God. it back. No, I don't right, want it. So Move so on. <laughs> she's talking aside. Uh, yeah, I mean could do something fun like that if you really wanted to. I mean, I'm up for it if you uh, name some fair terms. That one. If, we, if yeah. it's a push-up contest, I'm out. No, we're not doing that. It always, it always is fair. What do you mean? We always pick something that we can equally do. For the most part. A race. A race across the Lyceum grounds. I could do that. We had that I game mean... back when I was young where oh. you had two teams and you would have to try and get an object from the other team to bring it back to your side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Capture the flag. Yep. 
So, are you insisting that instead of making it a competition between Eclipse and her sister, which is what the whole intention of the competition was in the first place, we instead make it a group competition between all of us? To if judge we're doing that, Luna if and we're Eclipse's doing that, individual strength. Okay, hear me out. Eclipse and I, team captains, we get to draft our teams that also test the mental capacity. Wait, but she knows you guys better. That seems unfair. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm pretty insightful. <gasps> there are seven of us. <laughs> Remy can judge. Unless Someone can ref. Right. I mean, Remy, as far as I've seen so far, is the most fair judge, right? I, I can judge. What I understand. I'm very good at judging people. <laughs> Eclipse just nods like the most knowing, <laughs> appreciative nod you've seen in like ever. <laughs> yep. I love her. So Is much. this happening? I mean, you called it capture the flag. Mm hmm. We had a different term, but it translated into get, getting the egg or I mean, that's, securing yeah. egg. It's a bad translation. That kind of makes sense. All right, yeah. we gotta. Uh, so we gotta find where to on do it on the big lawn. Yeah, yeah, okay. big lawn. Are they gonna get mad at us running around like this? Well, we'll let them know not to walk across if they don't want to get trampled. That's, that's fair. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Just to give you a head start, why don't you pick the two people you want? Ooh, I get to pick two from from the back. Mm -hmm. Whoa! You get to. Oh boy! Well, uh, okay. It's only fair because I don't want to mm. show favoritism. I mean, I'm taking horns for sure. What? Okay. What did you say your name was again? Horns is fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's the top pick. This guy looks like he could. Are we going no armor here? It seems like we're probably going no armor. I mean, yeah, we can. So I mean, we're gonna hit each other. If we're running around, I'm gonna take the fucking armor off. All right, I'll take big boy too. All right, cool. Ladies, I, I feel like it's a shoe in. I really, I really, I can't see how this could possibly go wrong. <laughs> what is, what is the, what is, okay. Um, magic. No magic. Okay, thank you. Nope. Yeah, we can't do it, a... so might as well just cut it off here. <laughs> no, Sorry, that's 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 nope. it. I'd rather I'd rather get and, it out. And Remy will be watching. And Remy knows a lot. Matt. So... <laughs> okay, I can see it myself now. Hold on, let me completely exit and come back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the arm, yeah, it's the arms. It's the arms in the face. Just... I hate it so much. Mm -hmm. Oh. God, now that you pointed it out, it's all I can see. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so not going to sleep tonight. So it's Luna, Yasnip, and Edwin, and then Brightwing, Faye, and of course. Oh, and, and Keep in mind, you are the only one with a strength modifier. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> minus two is going to be such a big help <laughs> in this instance. Okay. We're heading to the lawn to play capture the flag. Let's go. Let's All get right. it. Let's okay. fucking do this. I um, guess. we need some flags. Does anyone have some items on them that we can use for flags? Uh, I have. I have so many things. Let's see. I have displacer beast tentacles. So I have <laughs> tanned displacer beast hide. I have um, massive um hold on, hold on. claws from that bug we fought. Honestly, um, displacer beast tentacles seem like a pretty solid flag. That could be I, I pull out the two bright balls and I whack them together. Oh, oh that also could work. That's great. I just That's have diamonds. So I don't think we should use them. I think, I think what, <laughs> what I'd probably end up doing is getting like cloth napkins or whatever from the restaurant and then like just running. leaving some extra money to pay for them. That way there's something you can tie to you and then grab instead of mm -hmm. having to have tackle the ball. Well, no, just I feel like, like Remy would that's have something you want to pick up. flags yeah. on her. Yeah, that's also okay. true. <laughs> <laughs> right, so straight up, straight up actual that's also flag. true, yeah. 
but it has Amazing. to be something you can grab from the person pretty easily is what i'm trying to say mm, okay instead of something okay. held yeah yeah okay oh my gosh Hold How on while I come up with rules the flag for capture the flag <laughs> on the spot. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, so initiative? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's what we're going to do. Everybody okay. roll initiative. Okay. I will okay. get them all written down in a second. And then what I want you to do is each of Not you 20. DM me. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> each of you DM me okay. whether you're going aggressive or defensive. Okay. That sounds fair. Hmm. 18. 18. Two 18s? Yep. Okay. 18 for Age Win and, age, and 18 for Eclipse, was it? Yep. Okay. Your dex has to be higher. What is yours? Zero. Oh, yeah. Plus two. Okay. Let's go Luna. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's neat. <laughs> uh, Brightwing? Uh, 13. Sweet. And Yasnip? 22. Oh! I'm sorry, Tiny Dice. Actually... Mine was a 24, for the record. Oh, yeah, wow. Because it was a natural 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I so... don't know how I figured she was going to divvy it this way, so I'm just like... <laughs> a Yasnip Eclipse... <laughs> Aedwin, Brightwing, Luna. Damn! Rolled a natural one. She's <laughs> <laughs> gonna kick my ass. We're okay. gonna kick your ass. No magic? No, no magic. Nope. Damn it. Because we don't have magic, so it's only fair. It has yeah. to level the playing field. But guys, also remember... It's like not letting the magic what about racial magic traits? Really gives them a handicap. That's not yeah, you can use racial traits if it's non-magical. Is shifting magical? No, it's part of who you are. Okay. To uh, my knowledge, it's part of who you are, unless you want to explain just it otherwise. the way you are. Otherwise, I can't uh, sprint halfway across the world in two seconds. <laughs> Brightwing and Eclipse, I still need your um, uh, attacking or defending. Oh, sorry. I didn't think. Oh my gosh, what is actually happening? <laughs> Amazing! I feel like Matt, of all people, is also going to be the best gauge of how this is going to go, because NFL. But, you know. Mm. Uh, okay, and Brightwing said... Like, oh, this strat? This is terrible. <laughs> who's who's the number one overall pick? Oh. I mean, well, I the made the number one clips. overall pick. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wins the losses, apparently it's Luna. Yeah, Yasnev is apparently the number one overall pick. That's oh, crazy. shit. I mean, right. I'm pretty sure he does have the highest dexterity. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Running is based off athletics. Well, both athletics and acrobatics can be involved in Capture the Flag, so okay. uh -huh. we'll see. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. It's a vastly different number. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Wait, wait. Brightwing. In what way or where I to? What the I don't know. What? Attacking There's or There's two defending. options. Wait, in what way? <laughs> There's two options. You're either doing one or the other. Why are we making this complicated? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Right. What, Amazing. I need, here's what I need to know. How does Remy start the match? Like, what's the indication? Mm, yes. How I does Remy start the match? Please tell me all... she does it by sending a meteor swarm straight down. Oh my down. god, I need this. <laughs> first of all, when you get there, Luna does like a, a walk around the whole place telling people to fuck off. There's okay, like a okay. bunch of people sitting on <laughs> the lawn her out studying, like, reading. Yep. Yeah. I'm just like, hey, we, we need this room. She clears out the lawn, which is pretty large. It's like football field size. Yeah. Uh, which is 100 yards for those of you who don't thanks, football. Thanks. Yeah, I, for sure. I appreciate that, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> so 300 feet. Okay, okay. Uh, how do you start the match? I'll, uh, far. I'll slam my uh, staff on the ground, and as I do, I'll cast Pest Digitation and a loud horn sounds. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Like... <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, Faye? Mm-hmm. 
Roll a. I'm assuming you're you're. The attackers are going pretty much full sprint initially. Yes. Is this fair to say? Okay. Mm -hmm. Faye, roll an athletics check. Yasnit, roll an athletics check. Is it athletics or acrobatics? Or no, not yet. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's a that's a that's a nineteen by some act of all the gods. Wow. <laughs> Sixteen. Woo! Okay, pretty yeah. solid. Both of you start sprinting opposite directions and make your way probably close to halfway across the field. Uh, Eclipse, roll mm. an athletics check. Okay. Brightwing, roll a stealth check. Damn, okay. It's an open field! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just rolled another natural one for Luna. I rolled two natural ones for Luna in a row. You said it was an athletics check? Yes. Uh... 22. 22. 22. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Brightwing, what did you roll? 18. Okay. <laughs> um, let me do this. Okay. Okay. So here's what happens in this first round. Most of you take off sprinting and you dodge each other as you kind of cross paths in the towards the middle of the field. Uh, largely in uh, in pace with each other, more or less, because despite the fact that Yasnip gets a little bit of a jump, and Faye also gets a very solid jump, and makes good time, Eclipse is Eclipse, and catches up to both, or to you, and like leaps over you and Yasnip as you cross the midway point, and is gunning for the flag. Uh, Luna straight up trips <laughs> on a piece of dirt that was not properly manicured and eats it, tries to hide the complete failure of her initial assault, and then in doing so, casts her eyes across and sees you, Brettwing, trying to sneak <laughs> around the edge and starts running towards you. Oh, okay. no! Uh, ya, uh, Eclipse and Fay. Roll Did acrobatics. Adwin, Adwin has not rolled. Okay. Eclipse no, and rolled. and Faye, roll acrobatics or athletics, your choice. You're getting close to their side, and you're seeing Adwin. Oh shit! Okay. Playing <laughs> oh. goalie, more or less. Okay, that's my natural one. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Yasnip, you no. roll. You roll athletics because there's nobody in your way. You're just straight sprinting for the flag, okay. and Luna is chasing you, Brightwing. So you roll. Uh, <laughs> Acrobatics. <laughs> I love this. Acrobatics? Oh, okay. Yep. What do I roll anything now, Matt? Yes. Uh oh my god. You did not roll three natural I have rolled ones. Three different dice. Three Guys, we natural wasted this. ones. We wasted this on shenanigans. Oh we did! I love it. God damn it! I love it. Holy it's shit. Perfect. It's okay, Matt, because I also rolled a natural one. Okay, but you aren't going up against Luna. Brightwing is. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, but that is great. That is good to know. Okay. Yeah, uh, and Adwin, you roll a... I'm going to say it's going to be an acrobatics check. Because this is about diving Whoa. in a direction to catch one of them as quickly as you can. Not about <laughs> forcing. Yep. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Eclipse, your, uh, your acrobatics or athletics, which one was it and what did you roll? It was an eight total for athletics. Okay, and yeah. Faye? 21. Jeez. 21. Yeah. Okay. Can I so be... on this side of the field, Eclipse attempts to just straight up jump age when she's like, yeah. screw this, I'm going over him because yeah. I can. That's illegal and... in the NFL. Yeah. yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> and he just reaches up and yeah. grabs her ankle out of the air and just pulls her straight down onto the ground. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> you take one bludgeoning damage because that's Jesus. how hard you hit the ground. <laughs> Um, but with that distraction, Faye darts and Ugh. Faye is just like, the, anyone who's watching her from a distance is shocked by the nimbleness of this, uh, wayfish girl running across this field. <laughs> Faye, you get to the flag. Uh, Brightwing, what did you roll? <coughs> I rolled a 14. Okay. <laughs> Luna goes to dive for you and you just nimbly dodge out of the way and you have a straight line towards the flag now 
you, you're not there yet because you had to t spend this but round But is Luna. almost to Art's flag. Yasnip, what did you roll? 15. Okay. Shit. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Yasnip I... is running straight towards the flag. You're like, you're like probably halfway across the field. That's what I was lane. thinking. Yeah. Can I, can I turn around and stop Yasnip? With your passive perception, you would definitely see that Yasnip has made a clear run to the flag and is now <laughs> up okay. getting there. Okay. Okay. So Faye has a flag. Uh, Yasnip has a, is at the flag. Eclipse is on the ground in Aedwin's grasp. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> Luna is, uh, Wait, is Luna, Luna on Brightwing's team? No, no Luna's on no. our team. Luna's yeah. your okay, team okay, captain. Right. Luna, yeah. that's right. Luna picked. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. I yeah. confused myself. Okay. <laughs> so Luna is now chasing Brightwing, who's chasing Yasnip. Okay, so yep. Yep. new new round of rolls. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> okay, Eclipse is just... captured it's by Edwin, so she has to go back to home base before she can cross the line again. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. What? Yes. So, yes. She has to go all Eclipse, the way back. Eclipse okay. can't okay. just go and help Faye immediately. So Eclipse, so okay. Eclipse loses a round. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're heading back. <laughs> okay. So I have uh, Which Edwin leaves you the ability to chase Faye, who you see has yeah. the flag. Yasnip, you're sprinting back with the flag. <laughs> Brightwing, you're going for Yasnip, and Luna's going for you. Did I miss anyone? So I have to go back... So I'm just don't roll this round, but I'm effectively back where I started. Roll an athletics check just to see how quickly you get back, okay. because you have to get all the way back and then make your additional moves, which can include well, trying to catch yeah. Yasnip, who's running with the flag back towards your base. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so I didn't miss anyone, right? Nope. Okay. 12 total. You're making your way back. It's not the fastest thing ever. Okay. Uh, it's a jog. Faye yes. and Aegwin. Yeah. Faye, you're rolling. You're going to be rolling acrobatics. Um, oh my god, why? I literally lose it. Edwin, I will say you can choose. In this case, you can be making a straight up athletics sprint and dive for Faye. Okay, cool. So you can choose. I have a chance. Uh, so you two roll first. <laughs> I'm a squishy bean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's not wearing his armor, so he's not. And I'm like answer. a 6 4 <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay. What'd you, What'd you roll? I got a 10. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I got a 6. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. What the Jeez. fuck? Okay. Oh, my God. After slamming Eclipse back to the to the ground, Edwin <laughs> clocks Faye sprinting back, and he just makes a full linebacker run and leap. And just as she he gets to where she is, she kind of does a little spin, a running back spin. Oh, my avoids God. Avoids him and is continuing forward. Uh, Yasnip. Acrobatics from you, Brightwing, acrobatics from you, and Luna is gonna try not to roll a freaking natural one. I swear to God. Going with come another on, new on. dice. My sibling you. can't roll well. I love this. <laughs> How accurate it be. <laughs> it's not a natural one, guys. It is, is not it a, a natural two? one. Nope, it's actually Damn. quite good. It's a halfling one. <laughs> I really wanted it okay. to be a two. So we'll start we'll start with uh Yasnip and Brightwing. Yasnip, what did you roll? Twenty six. Oh Jesus my Christ. goodness! Right a five. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, and uh, 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 Luna rolled a twenty-six to catch Brightwing. <laughs> Sandwich. Jason. So yes, Brightwing, you go sprinting after Yasnip. <laughs> He eludes you with such ease, it's quite embarrassing. You're, you end up like running in this big loop because he just runs right by you. And as you come out the backside of that loop, you just see a, fl a like a blur of black from the corner of your eye, and you get tackled by Luna. Bam. So you you are out. <laughs> you have to go back. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> and Yasnip is ahead of you, so it's unlikely you're going to beat him back. Okay. Luna. Luna is now available on this side to this is this is the side they're attacking so she's just running back with Yasnip now. Okay. Okay. So So she's going to try to stop Faye who's coming okay. across. Okay. And Yasnip is running towards that side. Is are there anyone from the other team who's over there to defend? I, I should is coming be there. back. Yeah. Well, you're not you're not back not yet. yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh Brightwing you're is coming back now. Kind of back 
same time yeah. as me, right? But you have yeah. to get back before. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can I do a thing? Um, perhaps. What would you like to do? I'm going to hold an action in case anyone comes within 10 feet of me. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um. All right. It's a and racial Andrew... thing. <laughs> I, oh, my God. Oh, that's true. Oh, shoot. Yep. I did say oh, that's true. Oh, shoot. Oh okay. my god. Oh, oh boy. Right. So I'm I'm going, I'm not booking it because I'm waiting for Eclipse to get back. I'm being careful and cautious and I'm doing like the this thing with the, like the yeah. <laughs> okay, I should have diagrammed this out. This is hurting my brain right now. Okay. I mean we could throw ourselves on the just a grid. If that was so, well, we're, we're so close to the end now, okay, here, okay, I don't okay, think okay. it's worth okay, it. Okay. Eclipse is better than Eclipse is at base. Brightwing is heading back, back to, to her base. base. Yeah, yeah. Which is opposite, which is going to be where Yasnip is heading. So Eclipse yep. might have a chance to catch Yasnip before he gets yeah. the flag in. That is correct. Yasnip is sprinting for the, we'll call it the girls' team based. Okay. Uh, Edwin, you were defending Luna team base. Yep. yep. Which, which, uh, I got Eclipse, but Faye escaped. Yep. So right. Faye is currently running back towards the, so the, the 50 yard line. Yasnip, Faye, Yasnip. Then Eclipse Luna, is somewhere in there, but go Eclipse. like so. Faye and Eclipse are going the same direction. Mm. Yasnip's going that way, but because he's after our flag, Aidwin's probably going that way because he's after Faye. Luna's somewhere in the middle with Brightwing. With, with Brightwing. Brightwing. What's yes, Remy? Luna Brightwing's just, coming back. Luna just tackled Brightwing. Remy. Remy. Just, what, what are you doing, doing? Remy? Uh, Remy is looking at a flower that she found on the ground. <laughs> 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 Amazing. <laughs> this what is kind the of best referee ever. <laughs> Uh, I think it's a uh, one of those little dandelion flowers before they I mean, they like puff. Is there a friend? Perfect. Is it just multiple? Just a little family of dandelions. A gaggle uh, of dandelions, if you will. A dandelion yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I like it. I'm going to say Luna and Aedwin have a chance to catch Faye, but they are or yeah, to catch Faye, but they are coming from behind. So it's going to be. I'm going to say it's going to be a disadvantage, and it's pure athletics against whatever she chooses. Edwin would it's... be behind. Luna would be in front. Yeah. Yes, yes, Luna is in front of Faye. I'm behind Faye. I will say I'm instead of trying to get to Faye, I'm backing up towards our goal with my hands up in the air, looking at Yasnip and just getting ready. Okay. Mm. Is this a napkin? This is yeah, very important. Is. This is a yeah. napkin. napkin. It it's, a napkin. It's not just a napkin that's it, like, like on the ground. No, no, it it's does, tied it on a little. It doesn't matter. Okay, fine. Fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. 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 It's fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. I have Could I try? Making you it throw daggers. Pool. It's fine. I Could I try? Could I making it a throwable one? So. I want to. I'm going to keep. What do you want to try? I'm going to keep running, but I want to figure out. If if Luna's coming at me, I want to fake and and dodge the other way. So, okay, break your ankles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I will say roll a deception check oh, against smart. her insight. Smart. Um, wow. Okay, so you're rolling deception against insight to get past Luna. Brightwing mm -hmm. is headed back to the girls' base. Yep. Eclipse, you are there. Okay. You are and at the girls' do base. Do I see Yasnip trying to get past? Or has he already Yasnip's passed? already passed. Yeah, Yasnip's already passed. But Faye is coming towards you okay. with the flag that will help you win. But you also... might be able to head towards her and Luna to help with that in some way, possibly. Age, when you are at Luna base, waiting for Yasnip, who is sprinting. Is anyone chasing Yasnip? No, that's why I was about to be like, I think they I can't. Can They're in. headed back. They have to go back to base. That's right. But I'm already okay, here. Okay, so this is just this is just a race between Yasnip and Faye versus two defenders. Okay. All right. So roll your deception check. I will roll. They already check. did. Okay. Please hold. This is not yeah, be there's good. I there's no shot. No, there's no shot. Right. That's pretty know. good. We don't know. Okay, it's a dirty twenty for Luna. Okay. Oh, it's a thirty-one. Yeah. Oh my Holy gosh! God. You're a bard! You yeah. literally made the bard roll a deception check. I mean, what did you guys expect false, to man. happen? This is not false. <laughs> Gave her okay. a <laughs> Luna's ankles are completely broken. 
Uh, she has no uh, chance. Luna's useless. Yeah, this is rough. Even when she rolls well, it's rough. Uh, oh, so okay. Faye, Faye has a somewhat clear shot to the Luna base. Okay. Uh, Yasnip. Eclipse is now going to chase you, but is way behind. Uh, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't I think she can even catch you. Like he's, he's, did he, does he have our flag and is going back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like oh. halfway back already. But Matt, I, I have feline agility. You do have feline agility. Okay, I will say um, Yasnip roll an athletics check. and I'm not running. You're not running. Oh, shit. I am going oh. to kind of go haphazardly and then throw this napkin up and take a dagger out. Yep, Straight through yep. the back of the oh, napkin. Yep. Oh, yep. To shoot. To take right. it up, and I'm aiming for the ground in front of Edwin. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, <laughs> please, please don't aim high. <laughs> Eclipse, go ahead and roll an athletics check just to see how far you get in case he misses. Uh, Yasnip, roll a roll an attack with your dagger. God damn. God damn. Is Eclipse still further back than I am towards the goal? I was at like the main main base. Yeah, like, Eclipse I had is to, back I had to your, go to the center. Eclipse is back base, at your yeah. base. You're almost to the Luna base. Yeah. To, to oh, no, no, you're coming back to yeah. your base with the flag. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah yep. you guys were, she's already there. And I think Brightwing would also still her. be there. Because yeah, I have a time. question. This is yes. a really dumb question. Brightwing's just about to get so there. So I can see that Remy's not paying attention, correct? <laughs> yeah, yes, probably. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. If you do right this, Eclipse is gonna get real upset. <laughs> I I just want to see if it would work. I'm not. Okay. It's not okay. gonna. I'm just gonna see it's if fine. I use channel divinity to charm plants and animals. Can I like when the dagger hits the ground? Can the like it hold the dagger down the grass? What so is it's hard your to range? Pick what is your range? Yeah, because this is the other side of the field. Yeah, like you're I know. Yards. I'm just curious. That's yeah. like 200 feet. Yeah, that's a 200 feet. He's at the 20. <laughs> oh, probably not that. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be 30 or 60. I think feet. it's 30 feet. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're well, you're way out of range. Dang, that would have been really interesting. I can't believe. Is there would she be in range to try to, to trip up Yasnip as he throws, maybe? Ooh, yeah. Am I close enough for that? Because he's like, no, because she had to head back to base because she was caught. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, What did you roll on your attack, Yasnip? Uh, 15. 15, okay. And Eclipse, would you roll in your athletics check? A natural for a Natural 20? Yeah. 27? Mm -hmm. With feline agility. With feline agility. <laughs> okay. It's so like the what... most sprinter start, like, get down and just bolt. <laughs> okay. Here's what's going to happen. First round in the ground ground you have to run left. back and forth and you still have energy. Yep. Here's what's going to happen. Everybody is, is out of this at this point, except for Faye, Aedwin, and Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Aedwin, you see the dagger go through the napkin. It does hit, but with a 15, which is kind of me middling, it's like a good 10 feet away from you and the goal. Okay. So you're going to have to run to it and get it back. That's you fine. see a just fucking gigantic black blur headed straight towards <laughs> you. So you have to do this quick. Is and it towards Yasnip or is it towards me? That's no, the important it, well, distinction. She saw, she saw him throw and she is now angled towards you to okay. try to tackle you before you can get it get it back to the base, to the goal. Okay. Faye, you have dodged everyone. You have a straight line. So mm -hmm. this is going to be... <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't inspire myself. So no, you can't. I feel like... This would probably Guidance. be rollies between Aegwin and Faye to see who can be faster about it. Because I'm not going to get away him. Faye. Faye's that. been gonna running be. for a bit. Yeah. Faye is very close. Here's I've, what Aedwin... I've been running back more rounds than it took me to get there. Yeah. Yeah, you had to dodge a little bit. You spent a round mm -hmm. like, faking out. So that's the only yeah. reason this is even close. Yeah. But Aegwin, the, the flag for Aegwin is very close to their goal also. It's, it's yeah. very nearly the same distance. But he also has a a panther kin tabaxi bearing down on him. So here's what it's going to be. It is going to be contested athletics between Aedwin and Eclipse to see if Eclipse can tackle him or slow him in any way. Eclipse, yours is going to be with disadvantage because you're further, yep, yep. you're much further yep. away. So you have to roll incredibly well to catch him okay. in time. 
And then if you if he beats you, it's going to be his con contested athletics okay. against Faye, your athletics or acrobatics, oh. your choice. So okay. I have to yeah. win two rolls in a row? Well, you don't have to roll <laughs> twice. It's just going to okay. be one roll. Cool. Actually, you know what? No, I am going to have you roll twice. Fuck you. One roll, one roll is going to be acrobatics to dodge Eclipse. And the next roll is going to be athletics. Tank. He's getting the special die. The next roll is going to be athletics to short shuttle, which is a drill at the combine that no one knows what I'm talking about except maybe Annika. I know what uh, short shuttle is. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. To get back with the flag before Faye. So okay, cool. roll the roll the acrobatics first so, against the disadvantage athletics of. Eclipse. I'm rolling acrobatics as well. You're rolling acrobatics to dodge Eclipse, God, and then you're going to roll athletics. Fucking me right now. To Just to see if Faye. it's possible. What did you roll? I rolled a 17 on disadvantage. Okay, okay so that's pretty good. I I have to roll a 17 or higher, basically. You have to roll a 17 or higher to get by with no penalty. You don't have to meet her to get to get away from her, but she might slow yeah. you. Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> something extreme has happened. Sean falling out of his chair. Got it better. Yeah, it's either really bad or really good. Oh my God, it's a natural fucking twenty. Okay. Yeah. okay, so no, Use that dice more. no slow eclipse. You you get there almost in time, but as you dive. Uh, Edwin just like does a half slide down onto one knee and ducks mm -hmm. under you. You go over him. He grabs the flag and is now has a sprint back. So now it's going to okay. be your athletics right. versus phase acrobatics. Straight up rollies plus the bonuses. Whoever wins wins. All right, let's go. Go team. I will, have, I will have you say the numbers at the same time once you've rolled. Wow. Go team. Assuming go that team. This technology go can pick it up. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. 21. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. 20 and a 21. Oh, yeah. Remy. Uh, Remy. Uh, have you repaid attention or are you still looking at, at the flower? <laughs> <No. laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay. Roll a perception check because oh, you are, you are watching two sides of this field at once in a very very close finish. Her eyes just go. Yep. <laughs> Wait, Karma here. <laughs> and somehow it works. Oh yeah, shit! Oh god! My oh, dice just disappeared. <laughs> oh, I'm no. also now uh, only at the very end of this disappointed with myself for not putting on battle music, but. It's um... Um... Okay. We can put it in a post. It's fine. Dude, it so <laughs> we'll do it in no, post. We acknowledge it now. So uh, 14. It 14? Ooh, Matt, we did not go through all of this for you to not tell us that one of oh, us isn't determined boy. an actual winner, okay? I'm again! So... <laughs> no! <laughs> again! Okay. Again! Okay. <laughs> okay. Remy, it is an extremely close finish. You believe that Team Luna won. Barely. Uh, Team Eclipse, it, when you hear this, if even when this is announced, mm -hmm. you are livid and demand a recount most likely because this was extremely close. But that is what the judge says. Yeah. And the capture of the flag is completed. I am just prone. On yeah. <laughs> this is more like... athletic anything that I've done in my entire life. Yep. <laughs> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get up and go over to Adwin and do one of those like those yeah, arm yeah, 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 like yeah. shakes and mm, just like you son mm -hmm. of a bitch. <laughs> I got a yasnip. I think he would have broken the egg if we played it our way. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you use flags. They're much more easy to manage. Even though Luna's team did win, I don't think it was very fair because Luna had the the fastest, strongest people, and the people that Eclipse had were only magic users, and you weren't allowed to use magic. And I'm gonna look over. If you weren't allowed to use magic. If I wasn't allowed to use magic and I played that game, then I wouldn't have been able to win. But if I did use magic, I would have been able to win. <laughs> so even I mean, though Luna I won, I didn't end up actually using my, my my wings. <laughs> I just faked her out real hard. Also, can we just take a quick second, Luna? What the fuck was that? <laughs> fuck you. 
There, there was. I know that you said you were good at not being seen. I didn't expect you to do it here. Okay, listen. <clears throat> Look, and she points Flat at ground. like a small, <laughs> a small crack in the dirt that has absolutely no good reason to be tripping anybody. Oh, flat ground. We're using the flat ground excuse again. Okay. Uh, you know what? It was close. Yeah. You you won. It was only close. You won. It's fine. Best <laughs> two out of three. <laughs> Let's maybe uh, take this. And she looks over at Faye, who is yes. yeah. double right middle fingers now. like spread <laughs> out on the. <laughs> I gotta say, for for what it was, I think we did really well. I'm just saying. You know, actually, yeah, I was pretty impressed by everybody on that one. Myself. Well, Eclipse for sure is probably, yeah. I'll never I think there are dirt just because of you. So I don't know how well that was. <laughs> right? That's what you say. Eat dirt. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Yep. Eat dirt. Yep. That's yeah. what I did. But yep. not much of help. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Oh, help Faye up off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might want to do that thing on the back. Might help a bit. Little grass stain. Oh, the the cleanup. Oh, that thing on the back. <laughs> yep, cleanup. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Whoa! I'm, anyway. a, I'm, a, I'm a so much hate. <laughs> Whoa! So much hate. <laughs> Nobody did initially. Clean up. Uh, All right. By the way, well, I there, add that one like it the didn't. there is a, a brief smattering of applause from a few bystanders, by the way, after this mm. incredible oh. uh, display Sick. of athleticism. Sick. Yeah. Remy takes a bow. Most of them look very nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Holy shit. Huh. All right, well, uh, yeah, Remy, you can add that to the the victory if you want, but that's up to you. You are the ref. I feel like that's not fair. That was for fun. That was for fun. The true yeah. count is between the two of you. That's well, fun. I mean, it was a contest, and we did draft the teams, although I don't feel bad about my selections at all. I think we just got a little unlucky. Looks Wait. back at the Even patch of dirt. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm. No one can get past this, so I was. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, All right. Uh, I remember what? to grab my dagger. Yeah, I'm not losing the dagger. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine. Uh, what else would you like to do? You shenaniganing I... motherfuckers. <laughs> I think I think now that the vibe is a lot more calm, uh Eclipse is just gonna be like, Well, I mean, we can clean up a little bit if you guys wanna have a tour. We can do that. Remy can show you guys around. We can figure out what's going on. See some stuff. I can do that. Yeah, I we mean, could arrange some place to stay too, probably. That's probably a good call. I think yeah. We're just gonna buy in time until we talk with your dad, right? So Yeah. Uh Clips, you know if you wanted me there? I mean yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Probably after right. everything closes down for the night though, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't gotta worry uh, about it. I got a couple things to do, but I'll catch up with you guys. Okay. Whenever you head over there. Yeah, we'll let you know. It was nice to meet you. Good work, Team Luna. Yeah, she you're welcome. Heads off. <laughs> Damn. Listen, you, look, I'm sure she's a wonderful person. <laughs> but she's got a lot of work to do. I mean, flat ground. She kind of points at the stage patch of dirt. That's exactly. It sneaks up on you. It sneaks up on you. It really does. Uh, mm, don't say it. Listen, we've done some stupid shit on this trip. That probably looked that stupid. I'm just yeah, gonna say it right now. Yeah. No, yeah, you probably do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It happens to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well then. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Karma. You guys are gonna give a tour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um. 
Is it going to be primarily Remy or primarily Eclipse or both of you leading? I think it's one of those things where Remy probably has like the important information about the area that she can explain a lot more articulately. And I'm just like, yeah, that's a really good place to eat. That place is really quiet. People hang out over there. Don't hang out there later in the day. This place is not like just kind of pointing out the like street smarts level of whatever it is instead. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, given the fact that Remy or Halia doesn't know the entirety of this <laughs> city, I won't ask her to tour you everywhere, but yeah. uh, I can make you guys... up if you want. <laughs> I can tell you whatever sure, you want. Sure, go now. for it. G- give it. the, the over the, the bird's eye view if you want. You have received a description, I think, of the city in general. Uh, I probably have, yeah. Or maybe heard it when I brought you guys here. I can give it to you otherwise, though. I, I really want to hear. It really, it's less about how things look and more about the, the different places you take them, probably. Yeah. Because I would leave it entirely up to her because she's been around here for the last... I'm guessing largely it's going to be around the Academy... Um, and then probably Eclipse actually would take over for more of the tour of the consortium. Uh, Remy, would you take them to your place? I think I would, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> Remy gives you... Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, would you want to give them a tour of the Cloud Spire, which makes up the, a large part of the Academy? Yeah. That is a big question. Thanks, okay. Man. Okay, so here's here's a bit of uh, of interest to this tour then. So initially, you guys tour around the consortium a little bit. Um, there's all kinds of people here, scholars, a few students that seem to be from the academy, probably some professors as well who are doing like doctorate work um, who come here to study or to gain additional information. It is a... Um, Beautiful, well-landscaped, well-constructed, unique architecture, um, while also being like pretty stoic and formal. Uh, and Eclipse leads you through a good amount of that, probably talks a little bit about her family and the history of it. And then you guys uh, head more directly towards the Cloud Spire, this massive sort of cylindrical man-made mountain that rises up from the center of Olea with these fountains pouring off of it. And when you get to the base of it, Remy would take you to a, um, like a little uh, stall, almost, if you will. And you, ha- as you have moved around this area, you've seen there's this long winding stair that's hewn around the circumference of this mountain spire that goes all the way up. And it is several hundred feet and it would be an unbelievably arduous journey to climb it. And so as she talks about how many of the classrooms are up there and some of the labs are up there, you're like, oh boy, we just played capture the flag and I have no nothing left in my legs. This is going to be awful. And then she leads you to this small um, like little uh, stand, if you will. And there's a person there who um, is offering small pairs of boots that have wings folded on the back of them. Uh, and it, you see this uh, half-elf woman with blonde hair, uh, and when she sees you all approach, are you looking to ascend the spire? Yep, we are. Um, I assume you'll want boots then. I'll take some boots. I don't know about the rest of them. Boots. Are you new here? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Unless you want to walk the stair, these are the way to go. And she holds up a pair of these winged boots. Um, just pop them on. It takes a couple seconds to attune to them, and then you just... And she points up, which I don't know if that will work, because I think I'm freezing again. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Jeez Louise. All right, we'll try to fix it on the break. Yeah. I don't fine. know what's happening. But she points up as if to say, you will just fly up. Slow. Just a, cu- a copper a piece. The right wing. Oh, yeah. Fly. To fly? Yeah. You 
could also just walk up the stairs. I've done it before, but it takes a really long time. Is so. there some kind of um, historical rite of passage by way of walking, or is it like, is it acceptable to? Fly? It's not like the first time up you should walk or something like that. Um, I suppose it's historical in the sense that it's what people did hundreds of years ago before we had these boots. But no, it's mostly for show now. Sometimes very unique processions, graduation ceremonies, and things like that. For, but otherwise, no. It's. I, uh, like I mean, you're welcome to do it for sure. The uniqueness is probably the boots. But I, oh, I would want to try. If you're hesitant, <clears throat> um, there's no danger. And she flips one of the boots around, and you see this small greenish, um, like shard of crystal that's built into the back of the heel. If anything goes wrong, this will activate. It's a feather fall. Whoa! Uh, very safe. Matt, do I know if these will fit me, or do I have to walk? They have all different sizes. This okay. is like a bowling alley, and you okay. would okay. know that. Matt, yes. if I were to shift, would there be one that would fit my bird feet? Mm. I mean, that would make sense, right? Because Yes, there are some unique shapes and sizes here for all yeah. different races, so. Because I kind of want to shift. She wants wings okay. when she flies. Mm -hmm. I'm like a bird. So I'm you fly away. Not like an eagle. Uh, so it's nope. a copper each if you <laughs> if you want boots, right. which I'm assuming you're all gonna do. Mm -hmm. All right. I will. I will pay it for everyone because it is mine. Okay. So. Six copper. And Are there boots that fit Lucy? Lucy's not here. Please, <laughs> oh please, my please God. use Lord. So, 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 Lucy's okay. Lucy's not here. Lucy's not here. We didn't get Lucy's Lucy back not before here. we came in. Yeah. yeah. I'm dead. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> no. It's okay. Oh, yeah, it's she probably exploded. for the best because no, there are not boots that fit Lucy. That's yeah. Fucking <laughs> I lost no, all my fine. notes from it's last cool. session, guys. It's I lost cool, all man. my notes. It's cool. Just unearth my trauma. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm over here looking at Brightwing with her little flappy wings and kind of just like... Mm. Hmm. Mm. Um, you all acquire boots, sized out, and then she shows you what to do <clears throat> and uh, where to go. Although Remy and Eclipse would know. And you guys are capable now of activating these boots and flying upwards. Up! <laughs> yep. Ha. Uh, you guys... It is not, by any means, a soaring like an eagle situation. It is more of a levitation type charm. Um, you can get a little bit of side-to-side -side mobility, and it allows you to like, move into a landing if you want, and stuff like that, but it's not... 60 foot flying speed all over the place situation. Eclipse kind of does that thing where you put like shoes on a dog and she kind of can't handle the feeling because she's not used to wearing them. So she's just kind of like, she'll step and then she's like, get off, off, off. off. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, up. That's Matt, amazing. can I ask, like, you know when you like instincts just kick in for some animals when you give them an environment that they're supposed to do it? Yeah. With Eye Brightwing in the air, and her having bird instincts. Is there any instincts that come into play while she's like levitating for the first time? Roll a d20. Oh. Straight. Oh. <laughs> Natural one. Oh, oh no. Funny. You know, if this had happened in the Athesian forest or in real mountains, it's possible that maybe you might have felt something, but this is a very modern city. You recognize this to be a very modern arcane um, power that is granting you this ability, yeah. and there's not a connection of some kind that clicks for you at the moment. No. But... Could I, like try to lean back as far as it'll let me and just look at just the sky. and at what I would like to do is like lean back far enough that the city is out of my like peripheral 
Mm. And so it's just like the sky and like the edge of the mountain coming up, like 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 going up a roller coaster. Oh yes, mm. definitely. Yes, you absolutely can yeah. do that. And at various points, um, you'll see a new waterfall come into your vision, and the mist from it is kind of like um, diffusing around you as you rise. And there, once you start to pass some of them, you see that each of these waterfalls are flowing from a pool that is built into like a cutout of rock in this mountain. And within each of these cutouts what is what looks like kind of a small study sanctuary of some kind. There are little pockets of students. There are benches, um, beautiful flora everywhere. There's even some fauna that you see, birds uh, flitting between trees, a couple rabbits and things like that. They seem like small little pockets of a kind of natural sanctuary that create these waterfalls and allow places for students to study in peace and quiet. Um, and you pass maybe half a dozen to a dozen as you rise up. And Remy gives you all kinds of information with the endless <clears throat> supply of words that she can provide. <laughs> I want to well, in this, in this fountain, this is where the president gave the speech in 705. It was the first speech given by the president uh, of the university. And over here, uh, in this library, is where Eclipse broke the chandelier because she was too heavy when she sat on it. And over here is... <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, rewind, rewind, rewind. <laughs> no, you should keep on. Let's no, 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 no. And over here is where the first graduation ceremony took place. <laughs> Amazing. Um, she just eventually, <laughs> yep. is this like fizzy lifting drink? Like, are we just going to keep going until we hit the ceiling or do we, do we land? You will it when no. you want to land. So. Yes. Okay. And you can sense that and sense the capabilities that you have of like slow side to side movement, stopping, a re restarting. Um, and eventually Remy, you get to a point, the level where you would know your, uh, lab is and quarters if you wanted to take them there. And we can go inside here, and this is where my office is. And you have an office? Office? I do. And I'll, I'll lead you all up another long spiral staircase. <laughs> are there um, other plants besides Edward? There are uh, lots of plants. Uh, the office is like a, a carpeted, very cozy space. Uh, there's big windows. Um, so it lights up the room with, like, natural sunlight. Um, and the walls are covered floor to ceiling with bookshelves. And where there aren't books, there are small knickknacks and many, many, many plants on the shelves. Um, at the far end of the room is a small desk decorated with even more plants. Um, some framed photos of Eclipse, Luna, and Remy together. Um, and some dog-eared books and papers. And, uh... Behind the desk is a ladder that leads up to a loft, where you can see there's a telescope po poking out of the roof. And next to the, de the, the desk is a, a small dog bed that has a glowing badger sleeping in it. I'm sorry, you said a glowing badger? Like a badger that's yes. glow- like it's like it's generating light? Okay. It's, it's more like a- yeah. Yeah. Like a familiar? Is this? Can I can I go give him? Oh, scripture? this is Digby. I go give him scripture. As I soon as he, he he yeah he hears his name. Hey, buddy. Yeah. He stretches. Scritches. And then pads over. Hey, buddy. Starts sniffing all of you. Just because I... this is the way we do things, everybody roll an animal handling check. Mm. This is it an American or a European yeah. badger? Fucking targeted. <laughs> uh, it's an European badger. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can I have advantage because I've probably I have. A... Okay, is this new? Like, did you learn to do this while I was gone, or have I seen him before? No. So this, this has is been something. A constant thing. Yeah, th this is something she would have had for more than the couple months you've been gone. Okay. Can I have oh. advantage for familiarity? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you, in fact, you don't even. Can need to I roll. do well? Okay, cool. Bigby okay. already knows you. <laughs> okay, cool. Can I do well? Can I do? I, I rolled an eleven, but oh, I'm not trying eight. to pet the badger. <laughs> oh I know, goodness! I know how dangerous this creature I is. I'm not intimidated by your threats. Seventeen. <laughs> Damn. 
Right wing. Damn. As the natural Hufflepuff that I am and bright wing is, I rolled a natural 20. Damn. Uh, For a total of? Uh, animal handling? 47. Uh, la, 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 25. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Digby largely avoids the very big, scary man in armor. If you've re put your armor on, which I, I assume put my armor back on. Yeah. Um, do this. But sniffs around everybody else. <clears throat> seems genuinely curious. Pause it, uh, Remy, a bit. I'll give him a, a scratch. And eventually heads back to his bed. Um, and you guys see all kinds of interesting things scattered around this office. It is very eclectic. I think Brightway's very curious because there's a lot of things she's never seen before. She's in a wizard's tower. So kind of. she's definitely like, the frick? In fact, you've probably never seen a telescope before, so you no, have no I idea what that, that thing is. I don't think is. she has no idea what a telescope nope. is. Nope. There's this big giant thing sticking out of the loft. You don't know what it is. What is that? Well, that up there's a telescope. Um, we can use it once it gets dark, but it's too light to see out now. But up there, I also have some magic equipment that can maybe give a little bit of insight of... <laughs> it's dark now. Lights out. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. It's a motion-activated light. <laughs> um, but there's also machines up there that can maybe give a little bit of an insight on where all your magic comes from. What? I'm sorry? Yeah. It's kind of yeah, you said you didn't know where your magic comes from, so I could maybe help out with that. Wow. I mean, I know where mine comes from, but... But what does a teles telescope do? Telescope? You see the stars. And the planets. Can't you just look? You can see them very close up. And you can see this makes no sense to you, right wing. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not can first you... in line for the magic sensor thing, but I'm definitely on the list. Just out of morbid curiosity. I think once you guys start talking about like magic and things like that, you notice the clips kind of like wander to a corner <laughs> <laughs> that looks familiar and like her yeah. little aesthetic. Yeah. There's a chair Remy, over there Remy that is, has, has some black fur left on it. Just Remy definitely has a collection of like comic books and picture books. Yep. yep. <laughs> picture books. Just, she fucking vibes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Owen Digby. Just like yeah. Yep. Digby. <laughs> once you sit down in that corner, Digby pads over and just climbs right into your lap. Hell yeah. This and goes right back to sleep. There it is. <laughs> Magic, go. Oh. So if you want to come Gentlemen, up, I feel like you have more questions than I do. Fuck it. Why not? You guys go up to the loft? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Remy, you would understand the way thing that these instruments work. You set them up in certain ways to kind of uh, observe in a certain direction. You observe from one side through these pieces of equipment, and they cast whoever is the subject, or if it was a magic item, or if it was some innate magical natural occurrence, um, you would view it through that. So if, if you wanted to, or if they wanted to have their magic inspected or analyzed, they would just cast spell within that range, and you would read it from the other side. So if you stand right here, and Remy starts adjusting levers and moving like magnifying glasses and lenses okay and just cast any spell oh any spell and i'll stand over here because it uses magic from the celestial planes and uh <laughs> it uses uh, radiant magic and if you get too much radiant magic on you it kind of goes bad um i call it radiation Fuck. <laughs> cannon <laughs> It's like it's like if you're like doing X-rays and you have a like radiologists have to do like yep. certain things. You have like a lead apron you got to put on. 
I don't know how That's to so feel funny. anymore. I mean, it's just there's, there's this so is much everything I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna stand behind. Yes, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm. I'm down by the clips. Clips. I, am, I did not go up there. There's oh, you no didn't go. Why <laughs> no. oh, are you hanging out? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, Faye and uh, Brightwing are hiding behind. Well, I mean, the blast shields. It would be Remy at this point. <laughs> the three foot tall Remy. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Okay. And the array of instruments on on this like work table are quite intricate, and, and there's tons of lenses and things. So you have no idea what's going on, but you're behind them, and this table, and Remy. So, and Eclipse, the why is, is that out one depicted center. to have underwear on the outside of his pants? Why? Why is that? <laughs> Man, I don't even. Pick up that. But it's great. Like this on this one, it's it's here. And she like just hands it to you. She's like, you gotta read mm -hmm, this. This mm -hmm, is real. Mm -hmm. Wow. Doesn't even yeah. want to spoil it, she just hands it to you. <laughs> this feels very reminiscent. Okay, so... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to very hesitantly just kind of cock my head at Remy. So this is supposed to be safe? 100%. And yet there's this whole, like, radiation thing... Like, I don't want to, like, you know, turn green or anything. It's very safe in small doses, and there's a very, very low chance of you turning green. But not zero. <laughs> What's the chance? As a big guy, you might have to turn it up a bit. Oh, well, the chances of anything are never zero. Oh, boy. Okay. I guess we'll do this. And I will hold up my hand. And snap a produce flame in. Okay. Remy. I feel like I should cast guidance. <laughs> on, on the machinery. On somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Guide the machinery to do well. Uh, if you want to, you are welcome to. I'll 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 just touch Remy and be like, you just need to know what you're doing. And just like tap her on the shoulder. Okay. Remy. You read through these lenses and readouts and various things that you're very familiar with and um, are able to visualize, as, the, as this equipment does, the lines of Arca, which is the base of magic in this world, that make up Eidwin's magic. And you see A-R-C-A. <laughs> You see coloration that is dark, nearly charcoal grays, deep reds, and veins of orange. The formation of these lines in his magic are very structured, crystalline almost. Formations built off of other formations, sort of like visually like a mix or a um uh, a combination of like the chemical compound diagrams that we used to draw or learn about in chemistry and if you've ever seen the giants causeway in ireland that kind of look or vibe there is imagery throughout it and throughout the organization of the these lines in his magic that um communicate order and strength and you have amongst uh this equipment you have books and notes um on various sources so you're able to quickly check through some of them and compare some things there are hints of it that seem somewhat divine like what you will have often seen from clerics or paladins and so you check through some of the notes on various gods um, and there are traces of similarity with the clerics of Helm and Halifax, which you would know, uh, to be the gods of, uh, Helm is the god of justice, known as the judge, and Halifax is the god of craft, known as the maker. Um... 
you see traces of similarity to those, to the uh, design in clerics and paladins who worship those gods, but they're clearly not the same. And Aegewind's lines are more broad and boundless and in an odd way charged as if with potential. It is largely unusual and does not fit into very strict buckets based off of the typical sources that are studied commonly. You're able to recognize that pretty easily. Well, it looks like you have divine strength. Um, so your strength isn't totally yours. It comes from a god or something. Um, but it's kind of like a mixture between uh, Helm and Helfax, but neither, neither one really fits what you have. So more strength is it mine entirely. It comes from a god. Yep. So, and I take out my amulet. This is apparently supposed to show the symbol of my god. And it does it. Roll a, uh, roll an Arcana check, Remy. Mm -hmm. With a d4, if you would like. You have guidance. Uh, 30. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Like a third of the way through. Okay. She's like in the process of handing you another one and then waits. <laughs> She's like, oh, shit. I love that Eclipse is a comic book nerd. It's my favorite. She hates reading real books. <laughs> it's easier this, this, this symbol does not in any way reflect the symbols of either god that you saw the similarities with in his magic. Um, and it to your knowledge, does not reflect any god of any pantheon on Anthara in general. But with a 30 between that and your readings, it does... You do get a sense of the one of the three forces that you have studied another one of. But you don't know much about them because they're someone else's jurisdiction, if that makes sense. Um, well, this isn't a symbol of any god that I know of, but it might be a symbol of one of the, the more primal forces. But I don't really study those. Primal forces. Do you have any like baseline information on what that is do i <laughs> you do um hold on while i look quickly at what i sent you so you're telling me he just covers his um, eyes and his him. nose and nobody recognizes him this doesn't make any sense yeah yeah it's it's really crazy True. I, I mean like obviously because it's, it's like i don't know if he sounds different or like yeah, I, I mean i really usually imagine he sounds it doesn't different. have the context but yeah, it's kind of it's it's really the people just don't have a lot of it, it makes it better when you don't worry about it. But like, they made yeah. it into a play, have they? God, if they ever did, I want to see that. That would be crazy. Something we could pitch, that. maybe. Somebody had to. Some they haven't around here. Normally, the plays are more like you know historical. Anyways, she just keeps <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yep. Um, well, I don't know a lot about them, but they're uh, kind of like the base magic forces of the universe. Um, so, there's different schools of magic, but then these make up the schools of magic. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Who do we have to talk to about this? Well, I've talked to a lot of people to 
try to figure out my own magic, but uh, I don't think you're going to get anything here. But you can talk to insert. Yeah, yeah. yeah roll a history check. <laughs> Remy. Your coworker. Natural one. <laughs> Oh, God. God damn it. <laughs> so, you know that these recent studies that um, have kind of hypothesized or theorized about these forces, one of which you have um, delved a little bit deeper into, are studied and um, written on by s select few arcanists, philosophers, scientists, and that they there are some. You don't know of any off the top of your head for uh, anything outside of the realm that you've studied or the force you've studied. So you don't have any names to give him, but you do know that they exist, just that they are not common, and this is a rarely new or a relatively new branch of arcane study. Well, it's not very, very well studied. Uh, I'm, you could say, a pioneer in in this field, and it's what I'm studying right now. And I'm going to publish my uh, book on it. Um, if you'd like to read it, you can take a look at it, and I will go to one of the shelves and pull That's out like. Totally fine. Oh, uh, look. Take no, I insist. Please read it. Take it. Okay, I'll take the fucking book. It's a good like three pounds. That's a heavy, hefty book. When? <laughs> like one d four bludgeoning. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Like one d six. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. A short sort of a book. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so she also like holds up another one. It just says the Iron Suns on the front of it, and there's a picture of like a red tiefling, and so like a looks like a. Almost like a Warforge, but it's like a weird thing. It's like a, ha a hodgepodge other group like we are, and it's just like, but these guys are really cool. Like, I've been trying to catch up with these. They haven't updated in a while, so I'm like waiting for the next one to come out. Oh, the but new like this one. Yesterday. We got, we got you this one. Amazing. The new one came out yesterday. Oh, oh really? Uh, yeah, it's it's on. It's in the in the drawer on the left side on the desk. She like bolts, comes back immediately. <laughs> like. <laughs> Nothing matters. Amazing. <laughs> well, this conversation's going to all lead over to Faye, who we've been hiding behind, mm -hmm. watching this all. <laughs> Just like, are you going to go next? If I'm, if I'm allowed, yeah. I mean, I think I've, I've got quite a hunch, but it's always nice to. I don't know. I like science. I like knowing the why behind. Is things. this science? How it is science. Are you asking that? Okay. We don't have this. <laughs> Just gestures to the everything. But yeah. hey, you go, you go. If you would like to, that would force you. Well, yeah, when when Edwin's done, of course. Is there anything else you need to read from him? I think I got all I need. Trade your spots. Yes, if would you like to go before oh, me? Means. I think good things come to those who wait. You can go ahead, Brightwing. All right, they are next. Okay. So, stand behind the danger shield. Hmm. Does it just any spell? Mm hmm. And tell me how you cast it. Let me, I'm looking at the the notes, like the, what it takes to mm -hmm. components. components. Yep. Yeah. I... Ooh, a lot of my spells are weird. I don't want to, like, hurt somebody. <laughs> you can't trip it. Huh? You could cantrip it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 
think that's safe. I will yeah. press the digitation. And, um... It's verbal and somatic, so I think Faye being who she is, the, the somatic is very much of, like, a... Like, it, it it's just this when she cleans things, and it's, like, to mm -hmm. mimic the actual, like, cleaning of things. Um... But she probably hums like a little tune under her breath while she does it, and she might even do it subconsciously, because hmm. that's probably something that she's been doing since before she knew how to do a lot of other things. Mm hmm. Okay. And you're cleaning something. Yeah, I'll clean the Busting. grass off my jacket. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, she casts a spell. You see a small um like burst of Ar arcana and the stain leaves her clothes and Remy through your lenses you see uh lines of arca that are color wise mixed rose gold and black very visually uh musical if you will there is uh, it's common to bard magic that you've seen before because you've studied most kinds of magic and you've seen similar things before there are it's some of the most intrinsically beautiful formations of arca that you will see when studying magic in general and while a lot of magic can be chaotic and the lines of arca are just like all over the place these are some of the most specifically patterned and there are rules to it and you understanding how this works know that they can only really be accessed and wielded by arcanists or magic users with an understanding of those patterns, whether it's subconscious, intrinsic, or otherwise. And so where the, um, the uniqueness, I guess, is a little bit in the color to phase magic, the formations and the patterns and the shapes of the, the lines of Arca and her magic are very familiar to you and very clearly bardic. Well, you get your magic from, from your music, is what it seems to be like here. Um, no, I don't... They're, they're very unusual colors, uh, but also very pretty. Uh, black and, and gold. Well, kind of a, a pinkish gold. Could I try one other thing and see if we get a different result? Of course. I don't know if it will do anything, but I will activate the shroud. Mm. Okay. Is it a slow transition or a sudden transition? No. no. Remy, roll a perception check. Uh, perception? Uh, 16. 16. Um, you are fascinated enough with the uh the science of this that you're focused on it more really than even Faye or what she's doing um so when these wings sprout from her back whereas normally it might be a instant terror or at least shock factor value thing it could distract you from the reading you are very just intent on finding out what things mean and on what what you're seeing through the lenses and the equipment so you um, watch carefully as this happens and you see there's sort of like all these um, patterned lines of Arca that are rose gold and black that are kind of interweaving with each other you see when this happens all the black kind of twists like cording around the rose gold and almost snuffs it out and you see just pure lines of black and then they all dissipate oh wait that's that's really interesting uh can you do that again? I can't. I'm sorry. It's still going. I mean, it's like the... It is, and you look up and see huge black skeletal wings sprouted from Fade's back. Oh, those weren't there before. No, and the eyes are just solid black, and like the skin, well, has been pale before, is like hollow a little bit. So it's... Uh, it's kind of creepy, right? 
Uh, not really. I've seen weirder. I'll take that as a win. Um. But when you did that, all the black expanded and covered all the gold. I mean, the only other thing I could try... You know, I, I mean, I, I could try to release my healing hands to see if to see what direction that would go. I don't know if it has to have a target. Um, I do it to myself. It wouldn't. I don't. I haven't taken damage. Interesting. I technically did. If you want to, Eclipse do does have one missing hit point. I don't think she's in you deep need on this comic to. book though. You're I really know. Gonna yeah. I know. I don't think I'm gonna say you don't need to have a hurt creature to target. You could do it to yourself and it just wouldn't do anything. Though if you want to heal Eclipse with an expen uh, expansion. I'll look over expansion. at her and see the nose in the book and like the whisper uh -huh. twitch every once in a while <laughs> of just the intensity of it and I'll just yep. like take out my dagger and like slice the side of my hand and then heal it real quick. Just so there's some target to actually heal. Okay. No, don't do your hand. That's the most sensitive part. It's Good gonna. It's, it's literally don't coming right back. Thing. It's Gosh. fine. It's, uh, it, you expend your. You roll. It, it expends it all, right? You roll for yeah, it. Yeah, I don't. Okay. It, it's not a pool. Um. Once again, Remy, you are trained on the instruments and the readings and the visualizations, and you see. So. When the um, black lines kind of corded around the rose gold, they sort of form thicker lines of Arca in the same sorts of shapes, largely, and then they dissipated. And now when you see them, they return in a similar way, but there's this, like... It's like... Um... Oh, boy, what's... You know when... Sauron starts blowing up from the inside in the very beginning of the Fellowship of the Ring when he's still a figure and there's like light that sort of cracks out from within him. It's sort of like that and you see white cracks of light from within the black cords that sort of pulse and shine out in small places but not enough to replace or eliminate the dark and then they fade away. They seemed restrained, almost, by the black cording. Well, when you did that, there was a bit of white light, but uh, the black covered it up again. Hmm. Maybe you're holding back with your magic. I think you can do more. Well, that's, that's about it. For, uh... I mean, I, I, I could, but most of more that I have is dangerous. And we're kind of up really high and I'd prefer to not blow the literal wall off this place. Well, okay. I'd prefer not to fix the wall again. What do you think, Doc? That's it? Yeah. Are you okay? I don't know what I was expecting. Uh... Just for the heck of it, Halia, roll a Arcana check. Roll an Arcana check. 21. Um, you have not seen behavior like this specifically, but, um, I would say that with your just keen sense of arcana and reading these things, that you get the sense that there might be some racially based charge to these changes. And you don't, I would say, 
fully know for sure what Fey is necessarily, but you do sense that. Oh, I, I understand. You're not human. No. I'm not. I just... I don't know a lot about what I am, so that's kind of one of the reasons I'm grateful that we're here. Perhaps the library may have a little bit more information. Cool, I can point you in the right direction if you want to go visit later. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Right wing. Oh. Okay. How far is Yasmin been in the book? <laughs> I think at this point he's halfway reading and halfway glancing up into the loft. Oh. Okay. Maybe two oh. thirds. So you clips get to the end and then she starts over because people are still talking about stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> hey, you miss things. Gotta reread it. I'm doing Fair. it again. Gotta reread re all over again. Brightwing, are you stepping out? Yeah, I will. Okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, I think first she's gonna shift, because that's like probably the most instinct thing, is shifting. Okay. See if that does anything. And <laughs> I guess I'll cast a spell if that doesn't do anything. You're a great person. Well, I uh, yes, anyway, um, we are the Koea, so we are all sorts of animal persons, so to speak. Interesting, but not the way that Eclipse and Moon are cat people. No. Uh, we are, um, uh, the wilds did a balance between humans and animals. For the record, Remy, you have no idea what she's talking about when she keeps saying the wilds. And she has referenced it as some source of divine or otherwise magic several times now, which is curious. Well, I'm not quite sure what the wilds are, but we're in a city right now, so I don't know how useful they are here. Is true, but they are still here. Maybe not as strong. What? Where are they exactly? There are. <laughs> they are. The. The wilds. They made. <laughs> what you see, of, of the earth. Well, no, I need this. I need what I see here. Well, the water in the sky, the oceans and the land. The animals, the creatures, the trees that you used for your paper. Well, that's a lot like the primal arca that I've been studying. <laughs> Maybe it's a different name for them. Anyway, can you do a can you do a spell? Can I do it? Yes, 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 yes. Um, I will. What's super nature -y that I have <laughs> that won't cause damage? I'll I'll cast a uh, spiritual weapon. Um, okay. And ooh, what do I want it to be? What's the most naturey thing in here? There's plants, right? There are tons of plants. There's tons of plants. plants. So I would say, Remy, you would see all of a sudden plants start to grow and come towards Brightwing and then form the shape of ooh. Let's say a bunny. Okay. A foliage. A foliage bunny. A okay. foliage bunny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remy, you watch and analyze as she casts her magic, and the actual formation visually to everyone of her magic is somewhat echoed in the lines of Arca you see. You see color, colors of greens and light browns. The lines are wildly twisted, intertwining webs. There's flourishing blooms. 
It's like torrents of vines and bits of tree, branch, all coming off of each other. Um, there is imagery throughout of creation. And uh, quickly you can check your notes again for um, because you see some of those same traces of divine magic that you saw with Edwin's uh, spell. Again, it's not quite the same, but you see traces of it. And you do find similarities with clerics of Syriana. But it is in a similar way to that Aegwin's is very clearly not the same as though the magic from those clerics. It is more raw, unfettered, and unstructured than what you see from those casters. Well, the wilds definitely aren't a specific god that I know, uh, but there's also similarities to, to Syriana. I have heard from many people about Syriana. But I... I know they are not the same. I'm just... Always kind of understood that. Our own friend, he had a very similar uh, situation that he had the God of Disguise. But they're not the same either. It, while it felt strange to divvy out nature into sections. When the wilds is just every point of nature. It does make a little bit, bit of sense, but I prefer to have everything organized and fit nicely in boxes, which, to be honest, none of your magic does, which is kind of confusing. I apologize. <laughs> it's not your fault. And it's certainly not mine, because my equipment is flawless. Um, but it just means I have more, more work to do, more things to find out. Well, I, I hope we are able to help. I don't understand none of this, but it seems you're very curious for a minute. I am. I've learned a lot, and I think I can learn one more thing from one more person. Uh, Are you talking about Yasnip? Yeah, that that's his name. Yasnip. I you rang? Yasnip, can you can you come up here? For like I'm five minutes. Fine down here. Thank you though. Come well I can't on. leave my equipment down there. That's the point. I'm going to go down. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am casting invisibility and stepping out. <laughs> Amazing! My book! Roll a stealth check with advantage. My book! My comic book! No! We're just gonna watch the door open. 23. <laughs> 23. Are you stepping out of the room of which there is currently a closed Ye door? I will open the door and leave, yeah. Okay, the door Can opens. Can I kick the door closed? <laughs> As yes, like but the not, moment it not opens? before. No, you won't know which way he's going until he's already at the door. Seriously? I'm and not going like to know he's trying to leave the room, room until he... It, he just vanishes and you hear nothing with that stealth check. Cool, 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 cool. What about me? Uh... Far far no. Away. Not yet. Yeah, you are upstairs and even... Even if you were down there, your passive insight does not beat that self check. You can't hear or see anything until the door quickly opens and shuts in about a second. All right. So, did he take the uh, comic book with him, or did he leave it? Yasnip? I left it. Okay. okay. I think we can all conclude that Yasnip is evil. <laughs> Or his business. Well, I mean, it's not that it's evil to part of the scientific experiment. I'd appreciate it if he, was, if he would participate, but I don't think it makes him evil for not doing it. 
But if you could convince him too, to come up later. Everything that Mimi says is the truth. It's true. I'm not necessarily saying that he's evil because he. Uh, no, you're not muted. Oh, okay. No, Faye is. Age was. Oh. Were you saying something, Megan? I didn't hear what Holly said. I just heard the sound of the earbud oh, falling yeah. and, and like. <laughs> yeah. She said that it, it, him not. She would like to see the magic and read it, but him not sharing it doesn't make him evil, which is. Mm. It's not the fact that him not sharing it is inherently evil in a vacuum. It's the motive behind not sharing it that makes me think he's probably evil. Well, I mean, he already probably knows where it comes from. It's possible, but he also doesn't want us to know where it comes from. I'm, I'm going to go check on him. Make sure he's okay. Okay. Cool. You go out the door? You can find yeah. him. Okay, uh, Yasna, does she see anything when she comes out the door? I was under the impression that immediately outside of this door, there's a drop off. Is that no, <laughs> no, no, no? There's a there's a winding stairwell that leads up to this office from an entry like um, cutout. Okay, I'd probably still be invisible, but so you would be in like a hallway, wouldn't... a yeah. small hallway. Okay, you see nothing when you exit Brightwing. On the door going in, you do see a piece of paper that has written on it office hours uh, 12.05 a.m. to 3.09 a.m. Yep. What? Wait. Yep. No. Wait. Absolutely not. Yeah. She's got a telescope. <laughs> that totally tracks. Uh. Worst office hours ever. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Do you do anything, right wing? Yeah. I think I have a, an app for this. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so, so. Can I? Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. Can I do locate object? You have locate object? Yeah. Okay, yes, you can. You can cast locate object on. Not the watch. On Yasnip's clock. You sense the direction. Um, it can locate a specific object known to you as long as you've seen it up close within 30 feet at least once. Yeah, okay. You sense it ahead of you in the hallway, it seems. I'll go towards it. Yasnip, do you avoid her bumping into you? Yeah. Okay. Eventually, you reach a point where it seems to be in the other direction. <laughs> well, with my passive 19? Nope. He rolled a very good stealth oh, okay. check. He is sliding back. silently across stone. I can sense you're still invisible. But I know you're around here. You don't don't have to go back in to see, but I just wanted to make sure you're okay. We can go back to the library if you're not comfortable. I can just send word. I'm quite fine. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but these kinds of decisions are my own. Okay. And I'll stay out here, as long as Edwin is trying to manhandle me. <laughs> I'm not muted. Nope. That is very, very fair. But if you would like, we could go back. But it's alright. I think I'm fine out here. Okay. Would you like company, or would you like to be by yourself? Are there any birds around? Uh, from, where, out? from where you are, you don't see any because you're in this hallway. But if you you know that if you were to go back down the stairwell and, and out to the sort of the open carved out area that you landed to come here, that there would be birds. Yes. 
I'll uh, I'll step with some slightly heavier footfalls and drop some bird seed behind me as I go to place okay. it on some of the railing. Okay. Is that supposed to be a joke? Because I am better. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow behind. Okay. <laughs> Even worse. Um, inside, you guys do begin to see through a window in Remy's office and through the slit that the telescope would go through. Uh, the sun is getting close to setting. After all the shenanigans that have happened today and the travel around the city, it is getting towards evening. I think right after Brightwing left, she's kind of like holding the the one that Yasnip had left. That's like the first one that she was trying to get him into, and she just kind of like slowly reaches it over to Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted. You're also muted. I put down the brick that I was given. <laughs> True. And reach over and I take a quick look. What does the cover look like? So the cover would be, uh, so it would look like, as Yazdip had kind of hilariously described, um, a person in, like, all cloth, dark, um, it looks like they have, like, black underpants on the outside, and it doesn't look like it works well at all, um, with a cape, and it's kind of like a moon shape at the bottom, mm. and, uh, and he just looks really standing really menacingly over what looks yep. like a tavern that's got backlight and everything. And it's just very dramatic. <laughs> She's just like... <laughs> oh, Eclipse. <laughs> I have more than the utmost respect for you. And so I need you to understand that this next question is... I mean, Purely based out of <laughs> the Iron Sun Sun. <laughs> What sweet hell is this? <laughs> it's, a, it's a story. Goddamn art is what it is. <sighs> right. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, look, you know, you do you. That's totally fine. Um... Slowly doesn't necessarily back. look like <laughs> my um, cup of ale, but you know, to each their own. She takes it back. Not here That's to harsh your goes. buzz. Besides, you know, my preference is <laughs> massive uh, academic papers that could kill a person. I mean, it's gonna be helpful, if anything. I think I dislocated my shoulder. It's chance is very high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does she do this, like, all the time? Does she just crank these things out? Have you seen this chair? Who Point do you taken. think she talks yeah. to? <laughs> <All right. Yeah. laughs> uh, to answer your question, yes, that's, that's her entire thing. Remy, do you want to talk about it? I'd love to. Go. Oh my god, here we go. Well, so it starts with the, the three primal forces that I'm studying. But first we should talk about the the schools of magic. Do you know what the schools of magic are? <laughs> Care to enlighten me. The funnier thing is, is you watch Eclipse and she's like mouthing with what's being said <laughs> as she's explaining everything. But she's Absolutely. just like, it's like... She doesn't even really get it. She's just heard it so many nope, times. She's, she's like, just heard the lesson enough times. Every mannerism, like every yeah, yeah. slight variation, yep, you just have yep. down. And it's not even insulting. Yeah. It's just it's it's like a practice thing to help her focus on what's being mm -hmm. said because she's just she's just on it. As soon as I it deviates, a, she's back to whatever she's doing. I want the one part where Remy goes but and then Eclipse goes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, this continues for quite some time. And the sun basically sets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would I be me. able to gauge when dinner time would be? Like yes, they would be around now, probably. Okay. Yeah, as so. the the 
yellows of the sun turn to oranges and then purples, you begin to get the sense through the window, okay, this is probably about time to go down. Is it is she mid-sentence when I realize this? Yes. It, she has been mid-sentence stream of time for several, several minutes. I, I kind of get up and I hold up Digby and I just kind of like hand her Digby as a distraction to get her to stop, like knowing yep. this is going to work. And I'm just like... Digby kind of like goes <laughs> belly up, paws out. <laughs> Oh, hi, Digby. Are you hungry? I think we should get you fed. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I just look to Eclipse and mouth, thank you. <laughs> Faze is sleeping in one of the other chairs. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Also, Remy has, like, over. Out no, off. she's probably like, like, mm -hmm. been like slowly, like, Doing the thing where the guitar is face down and she's just like picking at it, like oh, on, yeah, yeah, on yeah. the desk. Yeah. What was that, Holly? Remy's pulled out like a chalkboard and like. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. There are diagrams, there are words none of you have ever seen before. How long was this going on, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably like a good twenty minutes to a half hour. Okay. Yeah. Can I can I make a quick like some kind of check to see how much of this I actually absorb? Sure, roll an Arcana check. Sure, why not? Because sure, yeah, Faye, well, you can also roll one. I'm listening. Seven. But... Seven. Man, you know how to make fire, but this is this is <laughs> I don't. What is she talking about? And for the Please. record. Like, to the uh, people behind or in the audience seats watching this happen, the words that are being said are are so, most of them are so far beyond, like, even decently studied magic people. Like, this is PhD level magic. So it's not that you're, like, stupid magically and can't grasp what she's saying. It's just the words are, like, 18 letters long. And the her, theory, like, the theorems are yes, like, exactly. In -depth research been at the going to like quantum, yeah, yeah, magic, it's the quantum yeah. physics of fucking. Yeah, oh, what'd you roll, Faye? Yeah. Fourteen. Okay, it's a it's a little better than that, but not by much. It's like no. you pick up on ten percent more of what she's saying, probably, but still, not eighty percent to ninety percent of what she's saying is going over everybody's heads. It's kind of like um, oh, what's that? Oh, and like in Shrek, where like the the Duloc song ends, and Shrek and Donkey are just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you say the thank you, she's just like she's she's been like that since I met her. Pretty cool. I I can't even. It's fucking rad. Yeah. I can't understand a single word she says half the time. Most of the time it's because I don't understand the word. The other time it's because she's speaking too goddamn fast. But, you know. But that's what books were. I, I, Everything I'm that I've said and yes. even more is in the book. And the book's almost... It's almost finished. It's not quite finished yet. But that's what I have so far. So Let's you... maybe out of the way done. Sorry. Hold on. So, every page in this book is written in. Mm -hmm. And this, this is a third. Per take. Yeah. I always knew this whole spellcasting thing wasn't for me. <laughs> and yet you do it. I just want to go back to swinging a sword like a normal person. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask for all this nonsense. It just happened. It doesn't have. To, I mean, there's options. There's levels of difficulty. Well, if you if you want something a little bit more simple, um, you can try this one. And she pulls out a. Uh, you know those books that are like, like literal baby books that are like quantum physics it's for babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Baby's first magic. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this is probably more my speed, to be honest. Eclipse is pulling out another comic book and then she just puts it. Yep. Mm -hmm. What time will we meet with your dad? Well, we can go get dinner first. Probably get something for him to eat, honestly. He doesn't meet mm -hmm. us there. Um, 
He did tell you to meet him back in his study. Yeah, so we'll, so. we'll probably grab him something to, to take with us, if anything. But yeah, we can head back. Probably, uh, find my mother. I think she'll probably be making that. Probably okay. should have mentioned I was home. You want to stop by home? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's All like, right. I made dinner for two. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head back down the stairwell. Uh, Yasnip, are you invisible still? It would yes. Be... Okay. If so. Br her building. Yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Remember, are you coming with them? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yes, yes Remy is with the group. <laughs> okay. I would say I would say before that point, like they're just feeding birds every once in a while. And they have a... Yeah, there's some there's a small pile of bird seed <laughs> feeding, feeding in the air. <laughs> yeah. The birds are a little confused by it, but it's you know what? It's yeah, food, so and I think Yasnip you can Lately, see, like, after just doing the little flying thing and watching the birds fly away, you definitely see, like, a little bit of longing with Brightwing. Yeah. With that. I don't suppose that counts as flying, does it? I think flying means you can control what you do and where you go and how fast and how high. So, I guess it's a better step, if not she points to the birds that you'll get there I could just try <laughs> although I mean you have a token who am I to discourage an attempt <laughs> it's confidence would not, well it would not be my first time but the first time was not necessarily my choosing and it was some of the other uh, kids pushing me off to see if I could fly. Um, That's not healthy. No, it. Uh, hence the name Broken Wing. <laughs> Did you break your arm? Yeah. Hmm. They seem to like that one more than Bright Wing. After that, they only put down others because they have nothing to be happy about in their own lives. I suppose. But you can't steal happiness. I think you can. You can't steal joy, but you can get happiness from objects. Joy is something different. Remember that the next time I see something really shiny that I can't afford. <laughs> and they just keep eating. Yep, and right then the rest of the group shows up. Dropping the seeds. Okay, you see oh, Bright Wings yeah. standing at a rail and no Yasnip. Oh, did he, did he head out? I mean, I guess we could just meet him there. Ooh. Bright Why? Wing? <laughs> Ooh, I just realized Ooh, the dilemma lying. I just put you in. Oh, fuck. Hey. Oh, no. You know what? Before you even say anything, roll a deception check because Brightwing's face in reaction to this would require some deception to not be very obvious. Can this be a disadvantage? I think it would be. <laughs> if she starts talking, it might be. If you want to roll a disadvantage regardless, go ahead. Oh, wow. That's 11. 11? Yeah, Wait, but uh, my insight's like 10, so I yeah, think I would still you... believe you. Wait, no, my insight's I'm pretty sure. Just kidding. Okay. I'm pretty sure most of you have a passive insight above 10 or around there. Yeah. Um, You see an immediate, like, deer in the headlights <laughs> thing from Brightwing and a slight movement of her eyes to one side. And yeah, then just... whatever you want to do, Brightwing. That's all good. We'll just meet Yasnip there. <laughs> yeah, we'll just meet him there. Yeah, if he wants to stop by for some grub, he can absolutely do it. There'll be meet a us. fun and tasty thing. 
at Eclipse's mom's house. Yeah. Is there a reason that you're talking like that? Uh-uh. No. Nope. Just for fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody can see it, but he's just... <laughs> yep. I mean, I can't imagine he would pass up the chance to bother Luna more, so mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll be there. Yes! I love how I'm the only one acting remotely natural. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys gonna descend? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. You descend back down, same way. Uh, and eventually a light back at the bottom can turn in your boots, which Remy and Eclipse, you would know you would need to do. They're not mm -hmm. to keep. Yep. Remy does have a and, pair in her office. Yes. Maybe three for yeah in the office that's upstairs yeah oh. does, does activating these boots take me out of invisibility no I it's really just invisible. taking them off and yeah. i'm yeah. taking the boots oh <laughs> okay hold on okay wait i feel like <laughs> I'll leave that up to uh, you. But I was going to be like, they're probably registered or some shit. Yes, the person, when you all light, the the lady who's still there, okay, and she takes them all from you. Oh, um, I believe we're missing one. Oh. oh. Uh. Three pairs that I've left up in my office by mistake, but I'll bring them down soon, I promise. Roll a deception check. <laughs> she's not being deceptive. She's just telling the there truth. There are three I... pairs. Yes, that is true. Yeah. I think she, she said that yes every time. That you she... know what? I'm yeah. going to say that I this is... Down. That would be like an honest statement, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Because we would... Well, I'll, I'll say make it a persuasion check. Okay. Especially Eight. since it's Remy. Eight! <laughs> oh. I... That will be all right, but I'm going to need a retainer of some kind. Just as collateral, if that's all right. How you haven't asked that before. No, but typically the boots are returned by the end of the day. Um, I have this, and she pulls out a like a, a handheld mirror. Okay, <laughs> how how fancy? Um. I don't think it's too fancy. I think it's like one of those, uh, the ones that you can like snap open and shut. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does this hold some sort of sentimental value? Really? <laughs> All right. How about this in 20 gold and I'll return the gold when the boots are back. I'll pay the, I think I have Okay. 20. Uh, I don't. 20. I can pay 14. <laughs> yeah. So, as I'm I trying to, like, sort through the out. money, I'm kind of looking around, just like... <laughs> <laughs> Rem Remy is genuinely, like, confused as to why yep. this is happening. <laughs> yeah, yep. I'm just like... I'll put down my loot. Ooh... All right. I mean, my, my gold's back up upstairs, so I could go get it, but I could also just go get the boots again. No worries. If you can get it back tonight or tomorrow morning, this should be fine collateral. Thank you. I, th I think Bradley is you definitely just like... Take the mirror and the money back, and you are good to go. You head to home, Eclipse? Okay. Eclipse leads you guys, uh, including actually. Mm, uh, okay, it would probably be coming up soon. You and you would know this, Yasmin. If your invisibility is probably like five to ten minutes away from being gone. Are but she, walking? yeah, as you're walking. Okay. Um, and you guys, she leads you back, uh, through the consortium into a area sort of on the edge where you find uh, some small... There's a fly flying around my face right now. Uh, no. Oh, I caught it. Whoa. What? Wow. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. 
Can you see it? No. Yeah, there it is. The oh, there it is. Yeah. Little speck. Okay. Wow. Adam. The world. Um, to a small homestead that's sort of uh, built into one of these uh, sections of buildings. And Eclipse, it is your home. You can leave them inside. Uh, so and I'll, I'll knock just to make sure we're not just like wandering. Yes, hello. Mom. You hear a crash of a pot from somewhere, and then the door flings open like three <laughs> seconds later, and you all see a very lithe, kind of softer in figure version of Eclipse. Um, somewhat similar to Luna, but Luna's a little bit more wiry. Uh, soft golden eyes, dressed in this sort of like silken kimono almost design um in gold and white uh celeste your mother eclipse and she gives you a yeah. huge hug biggest hug oh you're just in time for dinner um Ari, i i brought company i, I don't Luna see said that. anything uh, um she mentioned good. that you might bring some friends i think we'll have enough okay um, oh, please come any... in. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll go in. And Remy's here too. And... Oh, wow. Remy. So good to see you. Gives you a little hug. So I'll do the, the introductions again. So Faye, okay. this is Adrian, Brightwing. And... I'm like crouching down inside, taking the boots off and putting them in my bag. Yep, and uh, just oh, as you do happen. so, your invisibility drops. There's Yasnip. Yeah, uh, he caught up with us. Oh! Hi. Um, need a trick. I'm Celeste. Yeah. So oh, this is, please. This is my mom. I'll shake your hand. You Pleasure mm -hmm. to meet you. Thank you for you welcoming well. us. Of course. Uh, and you guys are brought in to Eclipse's home, which is quaint, um, decently nice, although. You are now currently comparing it to the Rosewood Estate, because that's the last place you stayed. So uh, it's overshadowed a bit, but it's still nice. And there are um, uh, bookshelves, tall bookshelves lining most of the walls in here, filled with books and tomes and scrolls. And yeah, it is very clearly the home of an archivist of some kind. Um, and the smell is amazing. She brings you in, there is food set, and you guys are able to have a dinner. Is there anything anybody wants to do? Any conversations you want to have? I assume you catch her up, Eclipse. Yeah, it's it is general going on. nowhere near as detailed yep. as the description, if anything, leaving out most of the danger, because I yep. know that she doesn't like to hear a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Um she's just kind of like we met we met this family we saved these kids we did these mm -hmm. things and we went to this really cool place and um she describes vana and and seraph and mentions them in high praise mm -hmm. and is like i can't wait for you to meet them someday they're really cool and i hope they can come by um i think vana and remy will get along really well and seraph will have a good time learning everything yeah she's just it's more the like people side of the story than the events side of the story sure so. Yeah, and she's she is um, intrigued, interested, engaged. You all see that there is clearly a, a significant amount of like wisdom and um, like she carries herself elegantly. Eclipse's is mom. Luna there too, or is Luna still? No, out? Luna seems to still be what, doing whatever work she was working on when she okay. left you guys. Uh, Luna didn't come by at all. Oh, uh, she did stop by briefly, but I, she said she had things to do and would probably meet up with you at your father's office. Uh, gotcha. Um, do, is there any leftover for him that I could take? Oh, him? Yeah. I don't know if he's eaten. It. That's probably for the best. Yeah. Yeah. And she, there is a, a little bit left. She kind of packages it up. Um, please tell him I hope to see him tonight. I'll try to come back. At least as many nights there as here lately. Well, at least it's getting warmer now, but... Yeah, just let him know. 
I'll definitely look. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> I feel like that was an actual right wing sneeze. It was. It had to be. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think uh, if Remy would let her keep the comic book, Eclipse is going to go to her room and leave it there. So if anyone wants to, like, I don't know, bother or knows about, she just kind of wanders off somewhere and then comes okay. back. So I don't know if anybody follows her or anything like that. So. But yeah, she'll come back. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we're not gone too long, but I promised him we'd meet up and talk about everything. So, um, is it okay if we stay for a bit? I also don't really know where else everybody can stay. Is of course. Recommend? No, no, no. We have enough guest rooms, I think, for everybody. If they don't mind sharing rooms. You guys are. Fun. Yeah. More easy. Yes, please do. I would not. You're very welcome. We would not insult your hospitality. I'm yes, sorry thank you. For the <laughs> your home is very nice. Thank you. That's very kind. So she's kind you of. You have lots of books. Yeah. Well, some of them are mine. Yes, most of them are Hugo's, but. What do you like to read? Oh. Um. I like to read philosophy every now and then. And a good adventure book as well. What is philosophy? High fantasy. Oh. You know, that might be a better question for Remy while you walk. But um, if you come back tonight, I can talk with you about it then as well. I don't want to keep you. I'm sure your father's waiting. Right. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll probably be in town for a little bit too, so we'll definitely catch up. Talk about it. It'll, it'll be good. I would love that. Yeah. Sorry to eat and run, but I'll get this to him. I'll I'll tell him to at least. Okay? Of course. Of it. I hope to see you all later. Thank you yes. for the meal. Okay. You guys head to Hugo's? Yep. All right. Again, Eclipse leads you uh, now into the consortium, into these buildings, through massive halls, um, study halls that are still filled with students who are laboring over uh, scrolls and large tomes with quills out. Seems this is deep, deep in study season. Um, but eventually, through a long hallway uh, with high arching ceilings and statues in the walls it is a grand uh site this, most of this place is and up a small stairwell eventually to your father's office do i see luna at any point like doing guard duty or anything or is she just genuinely not around at all uh i would say as you get to the large hall luna would actually come in from a separate side okay. around the same time Nice timing. Hey, where have you been? You missed dinner. Uh, yeah, I had, uh, I had to keep, I had to watch duty. I have him a lot now because someone's yeah, been. Sorry. I... No, 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 it's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll probably grab dinner after, but. Okay. There is some. I no big deal. That, so. Yeah. All right. Well, uh. Pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna knock the same way I did earlier today. Okay. Um, you wait a few seconds and the door opens and you see a uh, Kel woman, um, with black kind of curled short hair, and uh, what looked to be archivist robes of some kind, and your father seated at his desk. Um. I don't think you would recognize her, but she, after opening the door, quickly goes and sits back down at, like, a side table with quill and paper, and she seems to be, like, a scribe who will take take down information. Okay, so... Relatively normal. But I don't recognize the person. No, it's just... you don't. Okay. Oh, good to see you all. Um, yep. 
the instructions are run again, and he stands for up. Faye, he's like, or she's just like, yeah, this is this is Faye. Um, right. The one who messaged you. I, of course. I apologize. I I didn't think before I sent that to you. But I no, didn't it's and to make you uncomfortable. I appreciate the thought and effort. Um, I just can't know where it's coming from or who's behind it. If I don't know who they are, well. I don't. I don't know what it might mean. Um, if it's all right with everyone, I would ask your permission to ensure a level playing field of honesty for this. And he uh, sort of reaches to the side of his desk and pulls out um, this sort of clockwork housing looking device with a small like golf ball sized white yellowish orb in the center of it uh eclipse rolling arcana check and remy you would recognize what this is regardless also i would have handed him his dinner at this point so he sure can... he he takes it and doesn't even like seem to acknowledge it almost and puts it aside a natural one. I don't know what it is. You do not. Uh, Remy, you would recognize it. It is a device that is capable of creating a zone of truth. Is this all right with everyone? You know, I always tell the truth regardless. I don't know about the rest of these people. Eclipse does sometimes. Okay, so what is that? It ensures that the truth is spoken. There is a lot to consider and a lot that is unknown and I would like for additional mysteries to be avoided if possible. I do not mind but I cannot speak for everyone. So work yeah. for you as well. It works for anyone within its range, which would be everybody in this room. As long as it's a fair field, then I'm down. That's the goal. <laughs> All right. And he turns a, like a ratchet on the top and the ball glows slightly and then <laughs> this um, dome of kind of whitish gold light balloons out and then sort of dissipates and it very clearly covers all of you and there also by the way have been uh, chairs arranged on the other side of the desk for you all to sit if you want um, he turns to Faye first as you were the one who reached out to me I'd just like to ask your magic hmm. where does it come from well Remy put me in her machine earlier today so she may be able to explain it a little bit better but I pulled the magic that naturally occurs in music the conduit that is music to the arcane bardic abilities hmm. understood um and he gives you a very slow intentional keen look and it kind of scans you one more question, if you might indulge me. Your heritage. Where do you come from? I'm adopted. My parents are humans. Your adopted parents or your birth parents? I know for a fact that my adopted parents are humans. 
I am aware of the fact that I am not, although I do not know of my genetic lineage. Understood. I appreciate your answers. Um, How, could you, how could you tell? I am well studied. And I make it a point to try to recognize what I can about the people I speak to. It's not... obvious by any means but there are small features the symbol and he now is speaking to the group as a whole with the flame that you sent to Luna where did that come from um that I saw it first, but we saw it in multiple places, but... Quick clarification. The one you saw, and the one that you have later found on the um, dossiers, was the geometric shapes. Oh! The... Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah. This was Yasnip's, right? Yeah. Well, I found that one. He turns to you. If you don't mind me asking where and how. Given the fact that I don't fully understand the origin of this, I do mind. <sighs> but if you have information, I would be happy to tell you where. I don't. And that is my concern. Nor do I understand nor have we found any record or reference to the other symbol. I hope you aren't withholding anything that could be helpful. I don't know what these symbols mean. But from Eclipse's report, it seems the one is tied very closely to whatever this blight on the Northwest was and her mission. And the similarities with the other symbol are not to be missed. I can share that. Hold, oh, please. Mm -hmm. This is kind of important. <laughs> it is kind of important. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? I might actually have it. I think passively you would notice Eclipse trying to make it more comfortable to draw it away from the topic, yep. but also is fighting with she can't interrupt him because this is important. So she's caught in the middle, and it's really frustrating. But she's dead. Okay. She wants. She wants to deflect. I hmm. know she wants to the protect, but she can't. the origin of where it came from. If that helps. Anything Ilmara. you have could help. From Ilmara. And you're not willing to tell me how you know this. Or 
where you found it. It was on a ring. Inscribed. Yes. Do you know that if the ring, ring came is... from Elmara? Do you know if it has power of any kind? It is not magical. A signet, perhaps? But I know if it could have been a signet. Um... It certainly could have been. You don't for sure guaranteed know that. But it had... that kind of vibe, to a degree. It could have been. I'm not 100% confident. All right. His gaze kind of lingers on you for a couple of seconds longer. And he turns to Eidwin. Eclipse mentioned your tome and the fact that you might may have additional understanding of the creatures that you tracked. Somewhat. Yeah. Can you tell me everything you know? Part my eyes over to Yasnet for a moment. By all means. And you recount. I recount all of the information regarding the Blightlings, the appearance of Displacer Beasts, and other creatures that we have found on this plane that do not originate from this plane. Okay. That is useful. At the mention of Blightlings and like what they do, Remy's hand just kind of protectively goes over to Edward. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> okay. And, well, we're on you. You're one of the swords, yes? That's correct. Are you on a contract with this group now? And what would it be? The contract at this point is a bit amorphous. I was planning on visiting Captain Dorkright to solidify something a bit more. But for the time being... I have been given approval to investigate this issue. And so that I am doing until I have a more conclusive report. Understood. Thank you. Of course. I think that's all that I need to know from you. It doesn't answer much, unfortunately. And it doesn't shed any light on our situation here. It's still a foundation. It is, but I don't... I don't have any of the blueprints that we need to build off of it. And I don't know where to look. And... My attempts to look... I believe, to some degree, have been balked. By whom? If I could have the answer to one question of these many, that would most likely be the one I would choose. But unfortunately, I don't. Shortly after the assassinations, I was contacted, the consortium was, by authority figures from Kathos, Vordan, even Sildari and from the Accord on the whole, seeking consultation, insight on the circumstances. It's a common occurrence when something significant like this happens. We have a lot of information and information is helpful. 
in tandem, I was looking into these blightlings, as you call them, based off the reports Eclipse was sending. But... It wasn't that just that I wasn't finding anything. It was like access was blocked. And I, we in the consortium, typically have some of the most unfettered access to the records of any archive across Anthara. But I was frequently met with silence or refusal on these searches. Which is most concerning given the amount of insight someone would need to identify my searches and the reasoning for them and the level of power needed to authorize blocking my activities if that's what was happening and more recently I have felt the consortium and sometimes myself are being watched Luna has reported sightings of somewhat nondescript figures loitering about, but has never been able to pinpoint or confront them. And Luna jumps in here. It's pretty odd. Um, it's a pretty open city. And not the kind of place with the seedy underground or the sort of people who don't want to be noticed or identified. So I tried a couple times to track them. No luck. And Hugo comes back. It was after that and the concerns with my searches that we established enchantments here and elsewhere to prevent prying eyes in sensitive areas, but it's still concerning. All in all, it seems someone is monitoring my research and information gathering and the consortium as a whole, and either steering us away from certain discoveries, closely watching for others, or some combination of both. Do you feel you're in danger? I suppose it de depends how you define danger. I... it would take a... drastic helping of boldness, to put it mildly, to make a move on the consortium of any kind, or myself. But people are dead right now. They are. And drastic is clearly on the table as far as some of the players involved are concerned. Not that I know what is linked to what, because of how little I've found. Do you feel like you've eliminated coincidence? In what capacity? Between the two murders? You said that you were turned away from access to research at multiple sources. Between the two searches, you mean? Yeah. No, but instinct tells me there is some connection. Would I know who typically holds that kind of power to do something like that? Um, people. Yes, you would to the degree that you are very familiar with the workings of this archive and yeah. people at your father's level or higher in other archives would have that authority. 
and then very high-ranking officials in government theoretically could have that authority. So, like, either his peers or higher? Probably, Probably. yes. I don't know what you all plan next. And I don't know what path I could send you on. But I fear that finding no answers is more dangerous than pressing for them. I don't know why. And I don't expect that you all owe me or the Consortium anything. But I will say it is likely that, Eclipse, I will ask you to help. And I imagine we need all the help we can get. And that is where we will end this session and pick up on Friday night in a mere two days for the last session before our break Uh, apologies to the hard 11 o'clock out we are 40 minutes over Um, favorite moments yeah uh, Adwin if you want to go first feel free I mean Capture the flag was a fucking blast. So. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard Can we talk about Matt? In our session zero, Faye and Aodwin had two interactions, and we rolled d20s to determine who had the upper hand in those interactions. Ooh. And we got and... in those two a 19 and a 20. Yep. And a one and a two. So in yep. this third interaction, it was also uh-huh. off by just one. Yeah. It was. What's what's the tally on there right now? Does anybody have a count for how many times it's happened? To one. Well, unless there's anything else that we've. I mean, that's happened a couple times. Anyways, we'll worry about it later. Yeah. It's gotta be. Cammy. <laughs> yeah. Tell us the numbers. <laughs> uh yes. Capture the flag. Yeah, that was fun. Just because I was like, I just suggested it, and everyone was like, "Yes, this is what <laughs> we're going to do now." Mm. Yep. It's just a joke. Um, but I, I mean, I just liked, I just like hanging out with Remy <laughs> and all Remy that nonsense. Is a fucking treat. It was so yeah. great. So everything, everything was just awesome with that. I, I do have one more. I apologize. Uh, but the fucking loot power move was mm. yeah. incredible incredible just fucking spot on i love it i love it so much yeah 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 yeah. i don't know where he was Um, true either he knows or he doesn't (laughs) um i can definitely state the interplay with remy and the party and just the natural nature of a bunch of the roleplay that happened that just seemed like it was part of like this city and Eclipse's hometown and the way that things went and the off-the-cuff stuff that c- came from everyone was lovely and incredibly enjoyable. So I loved this session. Yeah. Uh, Brian shocking me with the comic book thing. That was kind of... I had to... <laughs> Not to bullshit my way through that one. Yep, yep, (laughs) which was incredible. You committed. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. Yeah, the the Iron Sons is a reference to my brother's other campaign that they don't do anymore. Amazing. He plays a a red tiefling. It was very fun. Matt, I'm so damn conflicted in this this session, man. I... Mm. Looking like a bad mm. guy, yeah, Snip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Captain mm. Fire is top tier. Mm. Yeah. So, so. Secrets, secrets are no fun. I enjoy it. Secrets, <laughs> running, secrets. I'm going to try to get you. That's my favorite part, is getting a first-hand experience of everybody, the, like, players and characters in general, 
getting an idea of what the fuck is up with Yasnip kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still don't know, by the way. Let's be clear. No, no, no. No, no one knows. Not much is known. I don't know anything. <laughs> Brightwing knows, like, the slight most, and that's still nothing. Oh. All right. Oh, Remy. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean everything. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the radiation. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I forgot about radiation, that. Radiation, I think, was actually my favorite. That's going in the YouTube <laughs> yeah. shorts for sure. Oh Let's yeah. Get that yeah. Going. That's P. Yeah. Fucking cool. I call it radiation, like. Yep. Of yeah. course you do, because literally, what else would you call it? Nope. I thought about that a while ago. I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. so good. Oh, yeah, that was, amazing. That was my actual favorite. But the whole the whole tour of the of the city and stuff it was a lot of yeah. fun. <laughs> so you said that Faye's thing was like rose gold and black and like her colors, and I literally to just today switched the background of my character sheet to this black and gold geometric background, mm. and I was like, mm. <laughs> it's like she knew. I can I see your not. battery percentage. He can see your screen. <laughs> shit, shit, close down, close down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Great stuff, everybody. Alright, yeah. we will wrap up because it is late. Yep. yep we yep. will pick up here with a juicy session on Friday, and then we will be on break. So everybody bring your A game. Until then, which is not that far away. Adios.